Hello everyone, this is Discomfort Films, formerly just Tay-L Media. I originally picked that generic ass name because I wasn't sure initially what type of niche of content I wanted to make when I first started. And to be honest, I still don't. But I do have a particular interest in making content related to horror films and cult films and stuff like that. And Discomfort Films was kind of a fun name, so that's what I went with. I have less than 50 subscribers, so I don't think society is going to collapse if I change my channel name now. I've wanted to put together a list like this for a while, ever since Megan is Missing and that dumb iceberg started trending. Those are both old news at this point, but I still thought it would be a fun idea for a video, so here it is. Entry Level Disturbing Movies Its purpose is to provide entry points for people who are interested in more extreme or challenging films but don't know where to start. So it mostly contains movies that are more intense than average, but still within the mainstream, and a few more underground or cult films that I feel might be more accessible. It's important to keep in mind that everyone has different perspectives and boundaries, so what could be super upsetting to one person won't necessarily affect someone else the same way. For that reason, I'd recommend researching the films before watching if you're triggered by certain subjects, but since animal cruelty and sexual assault are probably the most common for a lot of people, I will include indicators AC and SA respectively for those. And for the last bit of housekeeping, I'd like to clarify that due to some films in this subgenre containing real, unsimulated animal death, like Cannibal Holocaust or the films of Mari and Dora, the films marked AC will be simulated unless specified otherwise. Part 1. The Mainstream Hostel Hostel and Saw are considered the poster boys for the early 2000s torture porn subgenre, and while I prefer Saw as a franchise, I think Hostel, or at least the original, has more of a grit to it that makes it more appropriate for this list. And it was even directly inspired by films like Audition, which we'll get to later on. The story is about American tourists in Slovakia who end up captured by a secret society that tortures and kills people for entertainment. Hard Candy This is another one of the more popular films on the list, but it's still twisted and downright uncomfortable to sit through. Hard Candy is about a teenage girl who lures a suspected child predator in order to torture and interrogate him about the murder of her friend. Seven. Seven is a bleak psychological thriller about a pair of detectives tracking down a serial killer whose crimes are inspired by the seven deadly sins. This is another one a lot of people will have already heard of, but the movie is extremely well directed and accomplishes more through the power of suggestion than through explicit violence. A Clockwork Orange This one's a classic and many film enthusiasts have already seen it or at least heard of it. I've included it on here because it's not only a great film, but I still find it pretty disturbing mainly for the home invasion and rape scene and the psychological torture towards the end. The Devil's Rejects both the best Firefly trilogy movie and the best Rob Zombie movie overall, in my opinion, The Devil's Rejects is a nasty grindhouse throwback about a family of backwoods serial killers on the run from the law and the carnage that they leave in their wake. It's a mean-spirited but surprisingly entertaining film with plenty of memorable scenes and characters. The motel room scene is particularly upsetting. Part 2. Disturbing Dramas Threads Threads is a bleak-as-hell made-for-TV British movie following the effects of a nuclear war, including the lead-up to the bomb dropping and how society deteriorates in the years following. In my opinion, Threads is one of the most horrifying films ever made because it's such a grounded and realistic take on the scenario. If that sounds interesting to you, it's very easy to find on YouTube. Dogtooth Another one that's more of a dark comedy, this director's films in general tend to be strange and uncomfortable and Dogtooth is no exception. The film is about a controlling father raising his adult kids within an isolated compound, where he basically controls their entire reality. I personally don't find this one that disturbing, it's honestly more funny to me, but it gets brought up a lot so I figured I'd include it in case anyone may be interested. Compliance This is one I don't see talked about as much. Compliance is inspired by not just one true story, but multiple real-world incidents. The film is about a scam caller posing as a police officer convincing the manager of a fast food restaurant to detain a young female employee for alleged theft. As with Threads, disturbing films that are more grounded in reality tend to fuck me up the most, and Compliance is a great example. Snowtown aka The Snowtown Murders This is a grim drama based on an Australian true crime case. It's a slow burn that takes a while to build up the characters and their relationships, and it's a bit like Zodiac in that it doesn't spend a whole lot of time on explicit violence, but when it does, it's fucking brutal. Part 3, Cult Slash Underground Audition This is one of the few movies that frequently end up on disturbing movie lists that I'd recommend to anyone who appreciates film. It's mostly a slow burn psychological thriller until the last 15 minutes or so when things get crazy. 
This is kind of contradicting what I said in the introduction, but it, it's one of those, also one of those movies where it's best to go in not knowing a whole lot about it. The story is about a widower who decides to look for a new wife, and with the help of his friend, sets up auditions for a fake film to look for potential candidates, and finds himself drawn to a mysterious young woman with a dark past. Pink Flamingos Pink Flamingos is a gross-out comedy about two families in a rivalry over who is the filthiest person alive. The film stars drag personality Divine in probably her most iconic role. It's pretty damn gross, and maybe not the best representative of John Waters' filmography if you're just jumping in, but it's still a comedy first and foremost, which may lessen the blow for some. The worst shit doesn't happen until the very end, and I mean that very literally. The Poughkeepsie Tapes The Poughkeepsie Tapes is a serial killer mockumentary documenting the crimes of a fictional serial killer after hundreds of tapes of his crimes are discovered. Though the killer himself is honestly too over the top for me to take seriously, the faux documentary aspect is very well done. It's not that graphic overall, but the atmosphere is chilling and there's a few uncomfortable scenes. The Human Centipede The Human Centipede should really need no introduction, but the story is about three people being held captive by a crazy surgeon, obsessed with creating a human centipede. Three people attached ass to mouth. Considering its reputation, the first movie is actually surprisingly restrained and takes a lot of time building up to the reveal, while the sequels are a lot more edgy and gross. Tetsuo the Iron Man and Pinocchio 964 I'm grouping these two together because they're both part of the Japanese cyberpunk subgenre. They aren't super graphic, but they are very chaotic and strange. Tetsuo is more heavy on body horror, while Pinocchio is more on the migraine-inducing editing. If you enjoy films like Titan or Eraserhead, I'd recommend Tetsuo in particular. So those are my suggestions for entry-level disturbing films. I hope someone will find this useful, and if there's anything I missed, please let me know in the comments. I don't remember them off the top of my head, but there were a few films that I cut just for time and length. And I'd like to try making similar lists like this for different subgenres in the future, because honestly, this was kind of fun. Thank you for watching Discomfort Films, and peace out.